You don't belong here, you dang thief. Oh, 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 get in there quick. Aha, that time I dodged you, sticky goo, whatever the heck that was. Now we click on Cranky Pants. And Cranky Pants is now the miner. There he goes. Good luck, Cranky. Hey, guys and gals, Polly Jr. here, and welcome to Hammer Helm, created by Jonathan Hanna. This is beta 1.8.1 at the time of this recording which is uh, July 24th, 2019. So I played this game a long time ago. This is actually still in, uh, still in early access, but I played it back when it first came out in alpha, whenever the heck that was, I don't know, a year, maybe even two years ago. And I enjoyed it for what it was worth, but uh, apparently it has been evolving since then. And I'm curious to see what it it's got to offer now. So let's jump in and play. And I will, of course, put a link down below in the description to the Steam store page where you can pick this game up for, I think it's uh, $14.99 if memory serves. Uh, let me just check on that right now. Hang on. Yeah, $14.99. It is for Windows only and single player only at this time. I don't know if multiplayer is going to be added eventually but uh well there it is so hammer helm is a, a dwarf colony builder you're actually a colony of dwarves on the surface world instead of underground so these are a little bit unorthodox dwarves um and there's some rpg elements in here as well so yeah let's give it a try so i'm gonna pick a new character and start a whole new world they do have another practice world in play but we're gonna start fresh we can create a character here and as dwarves, we want to go with the biggest beard possible, right? That's how dwarves are judged. And the biggest beard is the most honorable and uh, indicates strength and age and wisdom and all that fun stuff. Uh, yeah, it looks good. Let's let's create the character and let's get started. Um, I'm going to go with my original dwarf name from my EverQuest days. I don't know if that's going to allow me to do that because the other game is named Remy is as well. But we'll see. I guess so. Cool. Creating world. Yay, a new home for Remy. Banished from your homeland for the rebellious act of suggesting dwarves could live above ground. You have spent months wandering and seeking new fertile lands to start your life in the open air. Weirdos. <laughs> you have finally found such a spot far enough away from the stronghold as to not as to not anger your old clan, but close enough that your success will attract others who, like you, are weird and tired of living underground. As you build the town, they will happily come seek you out and live in their new home. They are not the only ones watching, however. As your town grows in wealth, so will the threat from the goblins and the orcs. They have already begun building small encampments to prepare to attack the first dwarves who aren't protected by the underground fortress. So we have some very progressive dwarves here. Moving up out of the ground into uh onto the surface world so it is beautiful and bright here it's very reminiscent of a world of warcraft with all these uh these bright colors and all that fun stuff so let's uh let's see we're gonna start out we can start out by pressing p we do have a sort of a tutorial questy thing here happening so we'll press p and this is where the colony building portion of the game happens you can see how to build right there i don't know how to do this because i just played a quick game to prepare for this so we're going to go ahead and build a storehouse we have enough material for a storehouse and there's all the build mode uh keystrokes and fun stuff like that we're going to click on the storehouse this allows storage obviously hence the name and we're going to put it down here somewhere we're going to spin it around put it right in the center so this is obviously the build area in this grid um, we're going to put it kind of in a central location uh, right, that tree is kind of in the way isn't it uh, we'll just put it right here. That's century enough. I think they're gonna chop that tree down anyway once we um, Go ahead and craft this thing we'll close this window down, but we also need a we need a house, right? So let's build a little wooden house and we're gonna put that across the street Spin it around and we're gonna connect these roads uh, We're gonna make it too wide a double wide road for big wide dwarves. There we go. Oh, yeah, we need a name Let's call it punch wood colony confirmed and now we have an assortment of dwarves to choose from to start out with we have uh, teal in here is a mole but he's messy mole must mean he's pretty good at digging so i think we're gonna go with him yay and then we have kenyana who's sleepy but she's got a green thumb she gets tired easily and sometimes needs a nap 
Don't we all? And then Lorfrid, weak and hungry. Uh, I like the green thumb. That seems pretty good for maybe farming or something. Yeah, I'm sorry, Lorfrid. Did you see that, that gesture she just gave us? He's very, very triggered. Let's go. Um, and now what do we do? I think we just close this out. And then they start building. Yes. We got some XP and a skill. Do we get a skill point? Not sure if we get a skill point, but we'll go check that out in a moment. So yeah, here we are. Here's our dwarven colony getting built. And here's everybody working. Kenyana and Teelan. We're going to change those names because they're pretty horrible. And there we go. Structure completed. The storehouse was built by Teelan here. Just by whacking with a hammer. And then Kenny, Kenny, Kenyana. Going to build up a house. Um, unfortunately, that is not, not our house. Hey, T Taylor, where are you going? I was going to go chop down a tree. I kind of wanted to talk to somebody. Um, yeah, Teelan. we got to talk to this guy. T. T for talk. So we can tell him to get stone, get trees, or we can ask about a quest. Well, the house is done. That's nice. Hello, watch out, Timber! Sheesh, dude. Turn around and talk to me. Hello, Remy. This is the perfect spot to build our town, but I saw goblins to the east. I think they followed us here, and they didn't look friendly. Well, I'll take care of that. You just chop down the trees and do some building. I'll be right back. So, we should probably get equipped. <laughs> Uh, more trees falling down around us. So yeah, we did not get a skill point, but we're really, really close. So we have some weak healing potions. I'm going to put this up here. Stand on my potions. We have a simple axe and a simple shield. Very basic. And that's what we start out with. We got 200 coins. Uh, we got a bunch of skills here that we can upgrade later and invest in as we kill and gain experience, as you do in uh, whew, uh, RPGs. So... Let's get rocking. Look at them working, chopping down the trees. I love it. All right, I see a camp. We got some gabos here. And here's how we fight. So you guys can pause and read all that if you will, but I already know. So we're going to jump into the action here. So yeah, you can dodge. I don't really like the dodge keys. I wish we could do a double tap, like in the division. It makes things a lot easier. But obviously, we can. Oh, dang it. And now we got a. We got a. Uh, that's our power attack. We're building up a charge here. Wham! And this guy's tougher than he looks. And we got him. We got some skill, and we got a chest with some leather and a little cash there as well. Pretty cool stuff. We need the leather to craft. Uh, here we go. Here we go. All you gotta do is look for the fire. Now this campfire over here apparently has a brute, and they're more powerful. And they can perform special attacks. These, these attacks cannot be blocked with our shield. So, all right, we'll we'll uh, we'll keep an eye on that. The Brute's health bar blink and turn orange before they perform a special attack. Yeah, we'll try to stay out of the way here. All right, get a couple of shots in. Let's block. Oh, that's the, no, that's, that's the big guy. Oh, no. Oh, I did block that. Interesting. Oh, hold on. We got... Oh, let's do it. That's a special. Oh, get out of there. <laughs> okay. Well, that worked for him. All right, take this guy down. And I miss with that one. Yeah, the combat here is a little bit... Uh, that's something that is being worked on by the developer. So hopefully it gets a little bit more interactive, a little bit speedier. Um, and it would be great to have different dodge keys. I really don't like the way the dodge keys are set up. Spellcasters have the ability to cast various attack and defense spells. We just have to move out of the way. Um, we could drink a potion here, but I don't think we're gonna need if I can just stay away from these attacks. Here he goes. He's gonna shoot. Some lightning. There we go. And now we get the big one. I'm surprised that's not killing him. Is he blocking? It sounds like he's blocking me, doesn't it? There we go. There we go. Oh, stop banging on the rocks. Dang rocks. <laughs> Am I standing in that? Oh, I think I'm standing in that stuff. Yeah, I better get out of there. Oh, it hurts. Well, that's my effect. All right. Here we go. We got him. Now he's, he's aiming the other direction. Let's just take that little finger waggler down. And we have leveled up. Fantastic. Let's grab the leather and their coins. And I think I will pop a potion right now. Health pot down the hatch. All right. And that was it. Let's go back to the storehouse. Something is in the storehouse. Oh, gosh. We'll go check it out. It's taking things uh, without permission. <laughs> So we'll investigate that. Oh, we did get our skill point, finally. So, let's, uh, yeah, we leveled up. Where should we put our skill point? So we have a bunch to choose from here. Tough skin, killing blow, spell resist. Uh, I'm just gonna go with this one right here. Killing blow, recharge your power attack after killing a monster using a power attack. Seems pretty good. So you get, get two power attacks in a row. Can I 
do this? There we go. Really hard to click that little arrow. Uh, but I got it. I got it. Okay, let's head back to town and take care of some stuff there. And then we'll uh, we'll move on with our quest here. All right, we're back in town. How's it hanging, Teelan? Let's talk to Teelan and see what he's got to say. Nothing. All right. Uh, nothing to say. I think we just have to go into the storehouse and clear it. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, what is this thing? A little critter that you don't belong here, you dang thief. Oh, 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 get in there quick. Aha! That time I dodged you, sticky goo, whatever the heck that was. So you need three hits to get that charge ability. Oh, he's gonna shoot something. And it looks poisonous, but that time uh, I dodged it all. Pretty cool stuff. I'm getting better. Now, what do we get here? Just cash and leather? Those dudes didn't have any leather, which is interesting. All right, here's our storeroom, by the way. Open, Press G to open the storage menu. Oh, look at that. So this apparently just mimics what's down here. And we can move stuff into our inventory. Oh, cool. So yeah, we can go out and chop trees too, but we have dwarves for that. And that's what these guys do. That's what you guys do. That's what I'm paying you for. But as far as I know, we can go out and chop trees and bang on rocks and collect resources ourselves. Okay, so now we need a metal worker shop. We can get into metallurgy and making better weapons and armor and that sort of thing. So let's do that. We need a shop, and that is a metal worker shop. There's a lot of stuff here to build. Hunter, hut, tailor shop, herbalist, carpentry shop, stonemason, alchemy, wood chopper, weaponsmith, all the cool stuff. Look at that. Mage tower. Wow. Yeah, you can get into walls. Like, we can build walls around our town. My guess is we're going to be attacked at some point by the goblins and the orcs. So it's going to be a good idea to protect our little town here with walls and towers and potentially guards, that kind of thing. Look at this stone lamp post, stone fountains, a tree. Pretty cool stuff, right? Uh, but anyway, we got to go build this uh, metal worker shop right here. And that require, oh, it requires two houses. Yeah, really then. All right, well, we can build another house. That's fine. Um, let's craft it. And we're going to put it right next to this one. And drop it right there. Oh, we get people with the house. Nice. All right, let's pick uh, one of these lady doors. We have a lot of here is healthy and a scholar. Ooh, enjoys studying magic. That sounds pretty good. This this lady, Alice, is weak, but she's a good mole. This one's happy and trendy. Bergiu. Takes better care of clothing. I think we're going to... Oh, we, we get to pick two, so we'll go with the scholar and the happy, trendy young lady here. And now we can... Uh, oh, the house is built. Can we go ahead and put that shop in then? Good enough for government work. Let's drop it in there and craft it. I love how they're, they're building literally... As I have that building menu up, they're already working. They're not waiting for anything. <laughs> I like these take charge dwarves, let me tell you. Oh, here comes one of the new ladies. Let's have a chat with uh, Berkey. Let's have her get stone. Can you get stone? Maybe she'll go get some stone. Pretty cool. All right, so now here comes our metal worker. Sweet. Structure complete. Metal worker shop. Press shift V to open the town menu. All right, so here's where we can assign our dwarves to specific jobs and roles around town. And we're going to click on a metal worker. That's really hard to click. There we go. So now we have one metal worker, and we can choose who we want to perform this task. So let's see if anybody is good at making stuff. Yeah, nobody here is specifically interested in doing metal work, but I'm going to put the happy, trendy young lady here, Bergio, uh, on that job. And we're going to change that name. We're going to call her Bergy Smith because she's sort of the Smith, right? All right, that's pretty clever. Okay, now here she is. Hi, Bergy Smith. Let's have a chat with Bergy Smith here, and we're going to have her craft up some items for us. Thanks for building this shop. I can craft better items for you if you find some copper ore. The mine entrance is blocked, but I know where you can find some ore nearby. All right, yeah, so there's a mine here. There's actually caves and mines and dungeons and fortresses all scattered about. But uh, for right now, we have some ores out in the world that we can go collect but we can we can go underground too and find this stuff and again we can do this ourselves we can later send other dwarves out to do it for us yeah there's the mine right there but it's blocked off like Bergie Smith had just mentioned so we're gonna have to collect a little bit of copper 
on the surface first. And here it is right here, nice and close. We're gonna whack it with an axe, strangely enough. Your ancestors are rolling over in their graves right now, Remy. My gosh. I don't know if there's a pickaxe in the game. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, no self-respecting dwarf would mine copper with an axe. There we go. See, we can collect rocks, too, as far as I know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, see, two quality stone, and we can chop trees down. Look at that. Tree is not fully grown yet. Oh, what? Well, I got, I got some quality wood anyway out of it, so there. You tell me about trees. I know all about trees. I'm a dwarf. Let's talk to Bergy Smith here. Let's craft some stuff up. Now we have a bunch of things here we can craft. Can I grab that little nubby thing? So yeah, here's all the cool stuff we can make. We got shields, we have uh, shoulder armor, weapons, and even potions if we can find some mushrooms. Well, we gotta make the ingots first, so if we uh, craft this up, you hold down shift and click, it does it all at once. And I think we're gonna start with a weapon so we can do more damage, especially since I have that new skill. Right, let's craft that up. There we go. Quest complete. 250 XP. Little jingle in the background. And now we have a copper hammer, which uses uh, less stamina for smash attack. That is the, as far as I know, that's the power attack that I've been using. And a dash attack. Oh, you know what? I forgot to do the dash attack. Right. Holy smokes. Uh, dash attack is, I think it's the F key. Yeah, that. So you can knock your enemies down when you engage them. Um, initially, I think that's probably something we should try next time. And now let's talk to Teelan the Worker and ask her to clear the mines. Teelan the Worker. Oh, you're, you're not Teelan. This is Teelan over here. Uh, can you clear the mines, please? I can clear the mines for you. Just give me a moment. Uh, right now? Because I got things to do, you know. I don't have much time for this video. I ain't got all day. Teelan? Teelan! Now, as far as I know, we can change their names here like teal yeah here we go i'm gonna call him cranky pants come on cranky pants let's go lazy but maybe she could change his name to lazy bones that might be more appropriate all right here we go he's, uh, he's off he's off i'm gonna follow him mr cranky pants oh, don't let me get in your way holy smokes why did i bring you up out of the mines anyway would you go all right i think every time i get close to him he stops to chat <laughs> He comes. Come on, Cranky. You are so slow. I'm going to change your name to Slowpoke. Right there. These mines right here, buddy. Any day now, using an axe. Oh my gosh. Alright, how about if we just go ahead and heal up 100% because we're going to go into the mines and things get a little dark and scary in here. And away we go. The mines. They call it a mine. Abandoned a long time ago, these mines are now home to many vile creatures. Before your townspeople can begin mining here, you must make it safe. Yeah, so this is pretty cool. We're going to clear out the mines, and then we can send our dwarves here to do some mining. Right, here's what we're going to do. I am going to try that. Whoa, hold on. we got a magic user here. I'm going to try this. Oh, didn't work. What the heck? I'm trying the F key to charge, but it's not working for some reason. All right, then I will give you one of these. And I get another one, don't I? Hey, where's my other follow-up attack? I'm supposed to get a follow-up uh, smashing attack because I killed that guy with it. Uh, maybe it's bugged. Wait, that skill does say if I kill, if I if I finish my enemy with the uh, power attack, I get another power attack. Maybe that's not a power attack. Recharge your power attack after killing a monster using a power attack. I think that I think that is the power attack. I could be wrong. I don't know. Oh, I love the gemstones, crystals up in the uh, in the cave walls here. This reminds me a lot of EverQuest. The combat is supposed to get revamped. There's a new combat system coming, so try not to be too judgmental of it as it is right now, because it could certainly use some improvements, and the developer is aware of that. You know, like this guy's looking the other direction, even though I'm facing him, but he was kind of in his little animation there, wasn't he? Ooh, 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 ooh. Get racked. All right. Fantastic. Now, we can grab the goodies. Oh, there's mushrooms. Right. Red mushrooms. Use the brew potions. Of course, the mushroom people have mushrooms. Um, who knew, right? But let's grab this um, copper right here, and then we can leave. And now the mines are cleared, and we can send our dwarves in here to uh, to do some mining. And they, can, and they can come here and do the work instead of us. We'll send Cranky Pants. All right, back in town. What do we do now? Leave the mines and then press Shift V to open the town menu. Yeah, right. So now we want to assign a miner. This is what I was just saying. 
Somebody here likes the mines. No, that's our magic person. This is our uh, cropsy person. And she hates to be in the mines. <laughs> so we don't want to do that. I guess who's going to the mines? Cranky pants. All right, well, let's click on miner here. If I can get it. Did I get it? Yeah, I got it. Okay, now we click on Cranky Pants. And Cranky Pants is now the miner. There he goes! Good luck, Cranky. He's gonna be all alone in those mines where he belongs because he's so cranky. Um, Alright, so what do we have now? Oh, find the cave near town and clear it. So, I don't know when these initial quests end, but right now we're just kind of learning the game. Um, I think that's the point of these, obviously, these early quests. Um... But sooner or later, my guess is we're going to have more freedom. We can do whatever the heck we want. Start collecting resources, crafting, and exploring, and that kind of thing. So let's, uh, yeah, let's craft up some potions. Look at that. Five new potions. And let's make up some armor. I think we're going to go with, the, obviously, the horny helmet. And we have shoulder armor. We have two shoulders, so we can make two of those. And we have four copper left. I think that's not going to be enough for anything else. All right, fantastic. So now let's put that stuff on. All right, click it. Puts it in its place. And, oh, we have a, like a cosmetic. Whoops. Oh, we can either look at our lovely hair or we can put the helm on. Ew. I actually like the hair better, to be honest. All right, there we go. Yeah. Okay, we'll stick with the hair instead of the, the helm for now. Now, find the cave near town and clear it, uh, which is right over in this direction. We've got the little radar up in the top right here, so easy to find these locations. All right, let's go, let's go find the cave near town. We'll do a little exploring. We might bump into some of the other generated structures on the map. I don't know if they're randomly generated. You know, I don't know if this is procedurally generated, but there's a path right here. Look at this, a path, a path. Destroy monsters. What? Find the monster camp near town. Oh, there's a monster camp. Is this the monster camp? I mean, we'll still go over to the caves, but oh, look at this place. Interesting. Shady's shop. Okay, I think we're not supposed to be here yet, but that's a nice axe. Look at that. I see a fortress. Before we go to the cave, let's go over here to this fort. So yeah, there's uh, either orcs or goblins in there. I don't know. I don't know which, but we're going to stick to the current plan and clear out this cave over here. Here it is. Let's go inside. The Cave of Darkness. Cool. The Cave of Darkness looks newly inhabited. The stench of evil permeates every crevice. Beware! We shall. Let's clear it out. Oh, the mushroom piece. We like these guys because they, they have mushrooms. And we need mushrooms. Ow! Gosh darn it! Oh, drat. You got me with that goo. Whatever the heck it is. Gotta stay out of that stream. Stay out of the stream! Alright, I'm still not getting my um, special attack thing to work. Is that lava? Ooh, is that hot? Can I go in the lava? Yeah, that's fine. Just for science, folks. Just for science. <laughs> if I had burned up to a crisp, it would have been super embarrassing. But, at least uh, you would have learned not to jump in the lava. Alright, here, I want to try that Oh, that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, it's like a, a charge attack. Did it stun him? It may have. Yeah, I need to get better at that. Use it more often. Sometimes it just doesn't seem to fire. I don't know if it's me or what. There we go. Plus 10 copper. And we have maybe one feller left here. Oh, look the other way. Do we actually have, like, little butt cheeks? Turn around! I think he did. <laughs> oh, cave clear. I just got an, an achievement. Uh, steam achievement. Maybe you can't see it. Anyway, we cleared the cave. And we're going to grab this copper. We can make up some bracers uh, when we get back to town. And I think that's everything. All right, let's get out of here. Woo, and we're out. I do like that you can teleport right out of those caves and mines so you don't have to run all the way back. But I'm wondering if we can do the same to get back to our our town. Um, maybe we have to build something. Maybe we have to build, like, a special portal. I mean, that's something we can look into down the road. Um, and I think probably we're going to quit here. This episode's long enough. I just wanted to bring this game to your attention, and I wanted to see it again and see how much it has evolved. I know the developers work 
on this game quite a bit and release a lot of new content and a lot of uh, updates and patches and so forth. There we go. Monster Hunter achievement. What do we got here? We got a goblin part. It's a goblin part that can be displayed in our home. Oh, cool. A trophy. Goblin trophy. Maybe it's a head or something. Yeah, you can actually decorate the homes. I suppose before we quit, let's go inside one of the homes and see if uh, we can do that right now. Let's see. Here's a house. Here's a house. So, yeah, all these little spots here. You can see little ghosty outlines, meaning we can put some furniture in here. Let's see. You can do that in the build menu. Uh, oh, something just happened. What happened? Shady business. Oh, speak with Bergie Smith, the metal worker, and ask about the activity near town. Oh, okay. So that shell of a home we found is probably attacked and destroyed by goblins and orcs and we have to go uh we have to investigate that after we speak to bergy oh here comes cranky pants oh i wonder how much ore he's been collecting down there um let's go to the storehouse and check i love how he makes a run to the storehouse and literally does deliver his stuff here that's pretty cool and you know what i have some wood too i've got some high quality wood in fact can i move it over huh I can't move my quality wood into the town storage for some reason, but I can move this other stuff over. And I, I don't know if we have access to this when we craft, if I put it away. That I'm not sure. Oh, look at this. Here's some copper that uh, Cranky Pants dropped off. We'll take it out. And we'll go use it up right now. We can get some crafting done. Oh, we have a quest here. All right, we're not going to ask about that. I, w I just want to do some crafting. All right, 21 of those, and we have some new potions, and we can make our two copper bracers now. Fantastic. Copper, achievement unlocked, copper armor. Easy peasy, look at that. All right, so we are now decked out in full battle rattle. Pretty cool stuff. So it looks like we're going to be able to craft decorative items and then hang them in the walls and fill in those little ghosty locations in the house. But we don't have a carpenter or a furniture maker or whatever we need. So my guess is that's something that's going to happen down the road when we start uh, completing more of this quest line. And then we can build up these shops here, right? So yeah, anyway, once again, this is Hammer Helm. I'll put a link down below in the description. You guys can check it out for yourself. If you like what you see here, and don't forget to leave a like on the video if you uh, want to see more. So with that, my friends, we're going to call it quits. And I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.